Hello and welcome to 1969 Baseball. We are here in New York to play Game 2 against the New York Mets. The Cubs, on a four-game winning streak, are looking to continue to improve their place in the standings in the National League East. For today's game, we are going to see the Cubs are going to send out lefty William Olsen to make his first start since having come across in a trade from the Yankees. The Cubs lineup will include Kessinger, Phillips, Williams, Santo. Uh, Hundley is actually going to be swapped out today because of needing a day off, which means that Banks will move up into the number five spot. And Felski, the catcher, is going to be working behind the plate today. So... The lineup will continue. Banks, Blomberg, Felski, Beckert, and the pitcher Olsen batting ninth. For the Mets, Nolan Ryan is making his fourth start of the season. He is 0-3 with a 482 and a 150 ERA. However, people are saying good things about this guy. They're saying that he might have quite the career ahead of him. So the Mets lineup will include Otis, Boswell, Jones, A.G., Shamsky, Harrelson, Grote, File, and Nolan Ryan batting ninth. The wind is blowing left to right, 11 MPH, and it is time for the first pitch here in New York. Crowd filtering into the stadium as we see the Mets take the field with Nolan Ryan on the mound. Top of the first inning, it is a 1-2 and two count. Cubs coming in with a 7-11 record, identical to the Mets, 7-11 record, tied for last place in the National League East. Ryan, with a 1-2 count, looking for the sign, and the pitch. And a swing and a miss by strike three, so Kessinger swings and misses at the fastball. Ryan rushed it up there at 96. Might start calling him the Ryan Express. Adolfo Phillips now the batter with one out and nobody on. Here's a two-strike count and a pop-up to center. The center fielder, A.G., coming over, and he's going to make the catch for out number two. Billy Williams now the batter, two outs and nobody on. One-one count to Billy Williams. And he grounds that one up the middle of the short. Stop has it. Throws over to first, and that will end the inning. So the Cubs go down in order. We're going to the bottom of the first of a 0-0 game. Olsen, starting for the Cubs, facing off against Amos Otis here in the bottom of the first inning. 1-1 one, one count. Olsen with the sign. And there's a grounder to third. Santo scoops it up, throws over to first. That is out number one. Boswell batting now, lefty versus lefty, three and one count. Olsen with the pitch. And a pop up to left, Billy Williams chasing toward left center, and he's going to make the catch for out number two. Cleon Jones now the batter with two outs and nobody on. A two and one pitch to Cleon Jones. And that's lined into right field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Cut off by the right fielder. And a, Jones will stop with a single. It'll bring up Tommy Agee. Two outs, one man on. One and two is the count. And a liner up the middle for another base hit. This time, the center fielder grabs it. Phillips get, fires it down to third as the runners stop. And now Art Shamsky is the batter. With the Mets trying to get something going here in the bottom of the first inning. Two outs, two men on. Olsen working with another two-strike count. This time popped up into center again. This is going to drop in for another base hit. Rounding third and heading home. The throw comes home. The runner is safe. And the Mets have a 1-0 lead on the Shamsky RBI single. Now Harrelson is the batter with two outs. Two men on. The Mets have gotten three straight singles here with two outs and a one ball count. Here's the pitch. And a grounder towards short. Kessinger has it. Throws to second and gets the intermediate runner to end the inning. The Mets score once. They're going into the top of the second with a 1-0 lead. Ron Santo leading off against Nolan Ryan here in the top of the second. 
Santo waiting for the first pitch. He pops it up to left. This is going to be an easy play as the left fielder is heading to his right and makes the catch for out number one. Ernie Banks now the batter. One out, nobody on. Full count pitch to Ernie Banks. Here's the pitch. Strike three is called. The fastball at 94. And Ryan records strikeout number two. Blomberg now batting. Two outs and nobody on. 0-2 pitch to Blomberg. And a swing and a miss for strike three. The fastball. And no one can catch up with it. We're going to the bottom of the second. It is a 1-0 Mets lead. Grote facing Olsen here in the bottom of the second. First pitch from Olsen. And Grote lines that one down the right field line. That's going to get all the way down for a base hit. A leadoff single for Jerry Grote. And that will bring up File with nobody out, one man on. 2-2 two, two is the count. Olsen with the pitch. Grounder towards second. Beckert to Kessinger. No relay, however, to first as the double play is broken up. And so there is one out. Grote is actually injured. The trainer comes out to take a look at him, but he's going to remain in the game. He got hurt trying to break up that double play. So File is on first. Nolan Ryan is the batter with one out and Olsen working. Here's the pitch. The bunt is laid down. Oh, he offers, but the bunt he missed. So strike one on Nolan Ryan. 1-1 one, one now is the count, and Ryan lays down the bunt this time. The pitcher... Moving quickly, throws over to first, second out of the inning. The sacrifice is successful as File advances to second, and now Amos Otis is the batter. Two outs, one man on. Here's a one and two pitch. And a grounder toward third. Santo has it, throws over to first, and he beats him by a step. So the Mets strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the top of the third of a one nothing ball game. Felski... Batting for the Cubs here in the top of the third inning. Nolan Ryan working with a 2-2 count. And grounder towards short. Picked and thrown over to first. That is out number one. Beckert now the batter with one out. Nobody on. Here is a 2-0 pitch to Glenn Beckert. And a drive into center. Going to be playable as the center fielder catches it. A.G. makes the play for out number two. The pitcher Olsen batting now with two outs and nobody on. Here is a 2-2 pitch. And Olsen swings and misses for strike three. So we're going to the bottom of the third of a one nothing ball game. Boswell facing Olsen here in the bottom of the third inning. First pitch. And a drive to left. Billy Williams is going back. He is going to make the play on the warning track for out number one. Cleon Jones now the batter against Olsen with one out, nobody on. Here's a 1-1 pitch from Olsen. And a grounder toward third. Santo scoops it up, throws over to first, but the throw is late as that ball just died in the infield grass. And now A.G. is the batter with one out, one man on. Our, excuse me, an infield single for Cleon Jones. A.G. now batting with an 0-2 count. And a pop-up behind shortstop. Short left field, actually. Kessinger making the catch for out number two. Shamsky now the batter. With two outs. Runner still on first. Shamsky with the RBI single already. Facing off with a 2-2 count. And a pop-up on the infield. Santo calls for it. And he makes the catch to end the inning. So the Mets stranding a runner. We're going to the top of the fourth of a 1-0 ball game. Ryan facing Kessinger here in the top of the fourth. 2-0 is the count. Ryan with the pitch. And a drive to center. Going to be playable as the center fielder, A.G., comes in and makes the catch for out number one. Adolfo Phillips now the batter with one out, nobody on. 2-2 count to Adolfo Phillips. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Ryan delivers the fastball, and that is strikeout number five. And the second out of the inning. Billy Williams now the batter. Two outs. Nobody on. 2-2 two, two pitch. Billy Williams with a drive. Deep center field. That might be. It could be. Oh, it is caught. A.G. with his back to the wall makes the catch out in straightaway center field. So Williams gave it a ride, but that's the third out of the inning. We're going to the bottom of the fourth of a one nothing ball game. 
Olsen facing Harrelson here in the bottom of the fourth. 1-1 one, one count. Here's the pitch. Bunt is late. Uh, well, it's offered at, but the, he misses. So Harrelson, trying to bunt for a base hit, now has a 1-2 and two count. And here's the next pitch from Olsen. A swing and a miss for strike three. So that is the fastball that he chases up and away. First strikeout of the game for William Olsen, and now Grote is the batter. One out, nobody on. One ball count. Grote waiting for the pitch. So that's a grounder to short. Kessinger picks it up, throws over to first. That is out number two. File the batter now. Two outs and nobody on. Here's a one and two pitch from Bill Olsen. And a pop-up to left. Billy Williams has a line on it, heading toward the warning track and making the catch for out number three. So the Mets go down in order. We're going to the top of the fifth of a one nothing ball game. Nolan Ryan coming out to face Ron Santo here in the Cubs half of the fifth. one nothing Met lead. Here is a full count and the pitch from Nolan Ryan. And there's a single up the middle. So Ron Santo just recorded the first Cub base hit of this ball game to lead off the top of the fifth inning. Santo stopping at first, bringing up Ernie Banks. Nobody out. One man on. And here is a 3-1 and one pitch to Ernie Banks. And a grounder to third. Thrown over to second. The relay to first. And that is a 5-4-3 double play. So that erases the base runner. It brings up Blomberg with two outs and nobody on. Ryan facing Blomberg with a 1-2 and two count. Here's the pitch. And a drive. Deep left or right center field. Excuse me. That's going to be a tie ball game. Blomberg crushes the Ryan changeup 421 feet out to right center field. And now we have a tie ball game here in the top of the fifth inning. Felsky facing Ryan with two outs and nobody on. Here is the first pitch to Felsky. And he lines that one down the right field line. This is going to be back-to-back -back extra base hits. Felsky rounding first, heading for second. The throw goes to second. The slide, and Felsky is safe. So a double with two outs. Puts the runner in scoring position, and the Cubs having a chance to take the lead here in the top of the fifth inning. Beckert facing Ryan now with two outs, one man on. Here's the pitch, and they're going to intentionally walk him. So Beckert heads down to first, and now the pitcher Olsen will bat. Trying to contribute to his own cause here with two outs and two men on. Felsky and Beckert on the bases. Olsen waiting for the pitch, and a grounder to third. Picked up, thrown over to first, and that is going to end the inning. So the Cubs score the tying run on the solo home run off Blomberg's bat. We're going to the bottom of the fifth of a 1-1 ball game. Nolan Ryan will face Olsen here to lead off the bottom of the fifth inning. Full count, Ryan waiting for the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So Olsen strikes him out. That's his second of the day. Brings up Amos Otis. One out, nobody on. Otis waiting for the pitch. Here it comes. And a grounder to short. Kessinger picks it, throws over to first, and Banks has it for out number two. Boswell now batting. Two outs, nobody on. Two and one is the count. Boswell waiting for the pitch. And a liner over the second baseman's head in the right field. That'll be a two-out single for Boswell. Stopping at first, and that brings up Cleon Jones with two outs. And a one ball count. Here's the pitch from Olsen. And a liner into left center field. That one's going to drop for another base hit. Phillips cuts it off. Does not roll all the way to the wall. The throw goes down to third. And the runners stop. So Tommy Agee now is the batter. With two outs and two men on. And Olsen working his way into a little bit of a jam here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Here's a one and two pitch. And a pop up on the infield. Foul territory. And Phelps makes the catch to end the inning. Or Felsky, excuse me, makes him the catch to end the inning. So we go to the top of the sixth inning. The Mets have stranded two. It is still a 1-1 ball game. Nolan Ryan facing the top of the Cub lineup, Don Kessinger, here in the top of the sixth inning. One ball is the count. Kessinger popping it up in foul territory. The third baseman and catcher both chase after it. Very high. Here it comes down, and the catch is made for out number one. Adolfo Phillips, now the batter. 
Two and one is the count. Phillips waiting for the pitch. And he lines that one straight away center field. Going back and making the catch is A.G. Short of the warning track for out number two. Billy Williams now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Ryan facing Williams with a two and one count. And a grounder right back toward the mound. Ryan has it. Throws over to first and he throws it away. And Billy Williams is safe on the throwing error. So Ryan now has to face Santo with two outs and the go-ahead runner on first. Here's a 1-1 pitch to Ron Santo. And a drive into left center field. This is going to be another base hit. Rounding second, but holding is Billy Williams. So the Cubs with a couple of two-out singles. And this will bring up Ernie Banks. With two outs, two men on. Go-ahead run is in scoring position. Here's a 1-1 pitch to Ernie Banks. Ryan looking for the sign. Here it comes. Grounder to second. Picked up, thrown over to first, and that will end the inning. So the Cubs strand two. We're going to the bottom of the sixth of a 1-1 ball game. So Olsen coming out now to face Shamsky here in the bottom of the sixth inning. 1-1 one, one tie here at Shea Stadium. Olsen with the pitch. And a liner over Banks head into right field. That'll be a leadoff single. So the runner is on first, Shamsky. And now Olsen is facing Harrelson with nobody out. Full count. Here's the pitch. Liner right at Santo. He makes the play. Shamsky has to dive back to first. And there is one out in the inning. Jerry Grote now the batter. One out, one man on. Here is the first pitch to Jerry Grote. Here it comes. Liner, this time gets past Beckard into right field. The throw goes to third. The runner's trying to advance. It looks like it's going to be in time. And Blomberg throws out Shamsky at third base. So nice defensive play right there by the right fielder Blomberg. Grote does advance to second behind the throw, and now File will bat with two outs, and the go-ahead run still in scoring position. Here is the pitch from Olsen, and a pop-up to left. This might do it. Billy Williams chasing into left center field, and he makes the catch to end the inning. We're going to the top of the seventh of a 1-1 tie here in New York. Blomberg, who is one for two with a home run in this game, Coming up to face Nolan Ryan in the top of the seventh inning. Here is the first pitch to Blomberg. And a pop-up to right. Coming in fast is the right fielder. And Otis makes the catch for out number one. Felski now the batter with one out. Nobody on. Here's a one and two pitch to Felski. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So Felski set down on strikes. Ryan with strikeout number six on the day. And that will bring up Glenn Beckert. Two outs, nobody on. Full count pitch to Glenn Beckert. And he misses inside for ball four. So Beckert heads down to first. And now we have a decision to make. Because Olsen is coming up here. This would probably be an intelligent place to pinch hit. Olsen's thrown 86 pitches. I'm sure he could throw more. Beckert is on first. There's two outs. I am just not sure what the right thing to do here is. I am going to say with Nolan Ryan at 96 pitches and Olsen, gosh, if I send him back out there in the seventh and regret this, I really wish I had pinch hit for him. But I think that I'm going to let Olsen bat because there's two outs and here's the full count pitch, Olsen. Takes outside for ball four, so Olsen draws the walk. Nice recovery there. That's Nolan Ryan's third walk he's issued in this game. And now it brings up Kessinger with runners on second and first with two outs. Would this be an interesting spot to do a double steal? Beckert is really not very fast, so apparently the answer is no. Kessinger batting with two outs. Runners on first and second. Here's the one strike pitch to Don Kessinger. And a grounder to second. Picked up, thrown over to first, and that is going to end the inning. The Cubs strand a couple. We're going to the bottom of the seventh of a 1-1 ball game. Now, Olsen is going to face the 
nine one and two batters in the Mets lineup. And the first one is going to be a pinch hitter, lefty Larry Fritz, who is one for nine on the season. And what this really means is that Nolan Ryan's day is over, which makes me very happy because Nolan Ryan kind of owned us today. Olsen facing Fritz here to lead off the seventh inning. 0-2 count. And Olsen with the pitch. And a check swing strike three. So that is going to be Olsen's third strike out of the game. And now Amos Otis is the batter. One out, nobody on. Otis waiting for the one and two pitch. Here it comes. And a drive to left field. Billy Williams chasing back to the wall. He looks up and it's gone. Amos Otis has just given the Mets a 2-1 to one lead here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And that's going to mean that the, we're going to get a reliever warming up in the Cub bullpen. Because we can't really, well the Cub bullpen, not the Met bullpen. We really can't let this get out of hand here. So the reliever who's going to be warmed up will be, let's see, we'll warm up Hamilton. And he can duel with the Mets lineup for a while. We're going to visit the mound and we're going to say, hey, Olsen says, I'm fine. Let me pitch. And I'm like, dude, you just gave up the tie. You just gave up the go-ahead run here in the bottom of the seventh. That's not good. But he's going to face Boswell, lefty versus lefty, here in the bottom of the seventh inning. 3-0 count. Olsen with the pitch. And that's high and in for ball four. And I'm like, see, I'm, it's a good thing I started warming up that reliever because you apparently have lost control of your ability to throw strikes. Now Cleon Jones is the batter with one out and a runner on first. We're going to throw over to first just for fun to kill some time. The throw goes over and the runner gets back. And now we're going to pitch to Cleon Jones with one out, one man on. One and two is the count. And strike three is called. So Jones strikes out looking at the fastball. And now A.G. is the batter. So Olsen is going to be allowed to face A.G. If he does not get A.G. out, then the reliever Hamilton will be brought in to face Shamsky here in the bottom of the seventh. So two to one game, two outs, runner on first. Olsen working with another one and two count. Olsen with the pitch. And a drive to left. This time, Billy Williams should be able to make a play. And he catches it for the third out of the inning. The Mets score once. They take a 2-1 to one lead into the top of the eighth inning. We're going to sit Hamilton down for a moment. And Tug McGraw is the new Met reliever. He has thrown six and two-thirds innings, one walk, five strikeouts, and a 4.05 ERA. He is going to face Phillips, Williams, and Santo here in the Cubs' half of the eighth inning. 2-2 two, two count, Adolfo Phillips waiting for the pitch. McGraw looking for the sign. And here it comes. And a pop-up into short left center field. The shortstop going out, making the catch for out number one. Billy Williams now the batter. One out and nobody on. Here's a 2-0 count and the pitch to Billy Williams. And a grounder towards second. Picked up and thrown over to first. That is the second out of the inning. Billy Williams grounding out 4-3, bringing up Ron Santo. With two outs, nobody on base, Cubs down by one. Here is a full count pitch to Ron Santo. And that is low for ball four. So Santo heads down to first. He is the tying run. Ernie Banks now the batter. Two outs, one man on, Cubs down by one. Banks facing off with McGraw with a 1-1 one -one count. Here's the pitch. And Banks lines that one in the center field for a base hit. Santo rounding second, heading for third. The throw goes to third. Santo slides, and he is safe. And the Cubs now have runners on the corners with two outs here in the top of the eighth inning. And now Blomberg is going to be the next batter with two outs, runners on the corners. Blomberg facing McGraw with the tying run 90 feet away. Blomberg is one for three with a home run already in this game. He will face McGraw. With two outs, and the first pitch from McGraw. Here it comes. And a drive. Right center field. Is that going to be deep enough? I don't think so. He gave it a ride, but it's caught on the warning track for the third out of the inning. So the Cubs do not score. They strand two. We're going to the bottom of the eighth of a 2-1 to one ball game. 
Now, we got to warm this reliever back up. Hamilton, oh, he's still ready. Well, that's excellent. So, Olsen is going to be relieved to find out that he's coming out of this game. And we're actually going to make a double switch here as Hamilton will come in and then Smith will come in here and be the new first baseman. So the double switch brings Hamilton in, the lefty Hamilton facing the lefty Shamsky here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Hamilton with a 450 ERA, two strikeouts and one walk in four innings pitch. There's a pop up to center. Phillips chasing. He comes in to make the catch for out number one. Harrelson now the batter, the switch hitting Harrelson, batting from the right side. He is 0 for 3 today. Facing Hamilton with a 3 and 1 count. Hamilton with the pitch. And a grounder to third. Santo scoops it up, throws over to first, but it is late. And Harrelson beats out the throw for an infield single. Jerry Grote now the batter with one out. One man on. Here's a 2-2 pitch to Jerry Grote. And a swing and a miss for strike three. The changeup, and he was way out in front of it. Hamilton now facing File with two outs. Runner still on first. Here's a one ball count. And the pitch to File. And a pop up to center. Phillips looks like he has a line on it. He takes a few steps back and makes the catch for out number three. So the Cubs going to the top of the ninth, down by one here in New York. And McGraw will face Felsky, Beckert, and Smith here in the top of the ninth inning. So Felsky is the first batter. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, he is going to be pinch hit for by the righty Jim Hickman. And if we go into extra innings, we're going to see Randy Hundley do some catching today. Hickman now coming up. He's going to face McGraw to lead off the ninth inning. Full count pitch. McGraw gets him with the fastball. Swing and a miss for strike three. So McGraw fires that fastball by him, and now Beckert is the batter with one out and nobody on. Here's a full count pitch to McGraw. And a pop up to left. That is going to be playable as the left fielder comes over to make the catch for out number two. And now, Willie Smith is the batter with two outs and nobody on. Smith waiting for the 0-2 pitch from McGraw. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So that is going to end the ball game. The Cubs winning streak has ended. The Mets prevail in a very tight 2-1 to one ball game here in New York. The Cubs got one run on five hits while the Mets got two runs on 11 hits with one error. The player of today's game is the Mets' Nolan Ryan. Seven innings of four-hit, one-run baseball with three walks and six strikeouts. The Mets' Nolan Ryan improves to one and three, and Tug McGraw gets his third save of the, of the season, throwing two shutout innings in relief. William Olson takes the loss. He drops to 0-1. He went seven innings of ten-hit, two-run baseball with one walk and four strikeouts. And he navigated some jams and kept the Cubs in this ball game, but it's tough to win when you only score one run. So the Cubs dropped to 7-12 and 12, while the Mets improved to 8-11. and 11. Thank you for watching Cubs Baseball.